Hey guys, Ben here with Reclaimed Living. Today I'm going to make some pinwheels. Uh, I usually make my own dough, but uh, since I'm not really cooking for anyone, I, I just get the dough from a local place called Pat's Marketplace here in East Northport. They got great dough, great pizza dough to make any, any wonderful things with it. Uh, I'm going to use that. And I just want to get started, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a little flour here, and this is the dough right here, okay? Get it covered a little bit. I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to make it as thin as I can. Now, when you're making pinwheels, whatever you're going to put in it, Make sure it's cold and make sure it's already cooked all right because if it's not cooked you're gonna have a problem it may not cook in the oven what I do is I start it on the skillet and then I put the skillet in the oven and get that rocking and rolling Okay, I'm going to roll it out somewhat. What I want to do is I want to kind of square it up. Now, this dough is enough to make quite a bit of it. And uh, I'm just going to work it. Then I'm going to stretch it by hand. That works for me. Just come out of the refrigerator. You know, when you're working it by hand, you can feel it where the thin parts are, the thick parts are. And so you know what you can stretch and what you should leave alone, actually. You gotta work it, because it's gonna wanna come back. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this one, I have everything in the refrigerator as far as the veggies that are going in there. I have broccoli rabe that I had sauteed with uh, olive oil and garlic a couple of nights ago. And I also have some Brussels sprouts with onions that were also sauteed separately. They weren't all done together. So I'm gonna put them all in here. We're gonna take it from there. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Stretch McCovey. Yeah, that shows my age, doesn't it? Alrighty then. All right. Keep it up, Jack. It's getting there. It's getting there nicely. As I said, Pat's Market makes a nice, nice dough. Besides other nice uh, goodies, they make a lot of homemade stuff. They got great prices for meats and some nice fresh vegetables. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do with this one, <clears throat> I'm going to put some ricotta on it. Just spread it out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to set my oven to 400. There you go, that's enough. Just going to spread it out. Spread the joy. Spread the joy. There you go. Now I'm going to start this on the skillet, in the skillet, on the stove top. I'm going to warm it up a little bit once I have it all cut out. I'll show you how I do that. And as I said, you want to square it up as much as you can when you're working with it. That's why you see me pinching the uh, corners. I'm going to square it up. All right. 
Okay. Now it's time to get the sauteed veggies. All right. Okay. Here you have it. Broccoli dab. Uh, that's a little steak I made, a little filet mignon. I'm going to have that later. And there uh, goes the other guys, the Brussels sprouts and onions. Start spreading it out. Okay. Just try to spread it out as evenly as possible. Okay. Now with the broccoli up, add that in there. And again, these have already been sauteed lightly. So I'm going to spread it out a little bit here. It's in the ends. I'm going to roll it up. Okay, lots of garlic in there. Okay, now that I got that done. I'm going to put a little uh, Pecorino Romano in there. Kick it up a little bit with a little flavor. I'm going to turn on the, uh, the heat on the stove top because I do want to have it warm up a little bit. It does make a difference. Okay, square it up. Get back up there, Jack. Square it up. There you go. Square it up. All right, now I'm gonna add uh, some fresh basil that I have. Just cut it up over here. You can't see me. I don't think you can see me cutting it. Oh, can you? Small. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. Here we go, just sprinkle it on. Lots of love here, lots of love. Okay, and now the mozzarella. Okay, so let me just add this. This is gonna be very yummy, very tasty. To make quite a bit of it of this kind of stuff for those who like pizza this is gonna be great for you you're gonna love it okay now I hold it as I'm rolling here we go okay now let me get a towel I'm going to use my knife to help roll it. Just clean that off a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now the knife goes underneath. And as I'm lifting the other end, I'm just basically rolling it. Okay. Now I got it going. I don't need the knife anymore. As you can see, it's all uh, getting pushed forward. The cheese, the broccoli top, it's all getting pushed forward. All right, now I'm going to put a little water on that to, uh, so it sticks together, it doesn't fall apart. All right. I wet my paper towel so it kind of stays together. I'll lift it. OK. 
Okay, lift it and then I pinch it. And once that uh, is together, I'll just turn it over. Kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay, spread it out. There you go. Now in my pan, I'm gonna put a touch of olive oil in it so she doesn't stick to it. And I'm gonna start loading it up. I'm gonna load it up right now. So let me show you what I'm doing, okay? I have this here, I'm gonna start cutting this up. Cut it in about uh, an inch, say an inch and a quarter, right? Straight down, just hold it straight down just hold it as you're doing it straight down make sure your knife is uh, sharp straight down just like that because it wants to fall apart but because it's cold it's holding together okay just like that and one more okay here we go now the ends just lay that in there just like this all right I'm gonna shut this because it's got enough heat in there I don't want to cook it up there I just want to be able to get it started get your knife under there and there you go see how she's sizzling she wants to cook all right we're just gonna put that in there like this Okay. All right, now you want to drizzle a little olive oil on that. So, I'm going to do that right now. it and a little salt and pepper not a whole lot I don't use a lot just a sprinkle sprinkle a day helps, helps keep the doctor away all right just a sprinkle a little pepper here we go all right the oven's ready you heard it beeping okay ready to go in for about I guess 12 minutes to 6 to 15 minutes should do it all right so it's going in right now okay so here's what you have after five minutes they're looking real good don't aren't they looking great yeah if you had smell a vision uh, you would enjoy this yeah, then. Here they are. It took a little longer than usual because I did use more dough. I had much more material in it when I rolled it up. They were much more thicker than I usually make them. So it took about 20 minutes for them to, uh, to finish up. Let's take a look. Don't they look great? Look at all that brownness there and that golden brown going on there. Now they gotta cool down, and uh, like I said, it's about five minutes or so. I'll stop munching. Okay, they've been out of the oven for about five or six minutes. Just want to show you what they look like. Uh, let's see this guy. See that golden brown there? That's tasty. There you go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's olive oil still hot though all right guys hey if you like my videos uh, please subscribe lots of great stuff coming up whether I'm cooking it up or I'm uh, doing stuff around the house how-to stuff enjoy the ride God bless